Welcome back to Adventure Toyota. And we're taking the true Canadian road trip into Northern Canada. In this episode, we are traveling through Northern British Columbia into the Rockies and checking out this amazing country we live in. So stick around and welcome to the adventure. Entering into the Rockies, this is where it begins. The high, high climb up through some interesting rock formation. Pretty beautiful place. Now this is some fairly serious off-road here um, because it really isn't a road, it's just rocks. And um, wow, we've been down some crazy stuff like this before, and we're doing it again. But look what's up ahead. Isn't that cool? Wow. That is phenomenal. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. Ah, I needed to rinse off the truck anyhow. It was pretty dusty. Good time! Woo! Look at this! Yeah! Really coming down now! Here at Adventure Toyota, this is what the show is all about. These guys, mountain goats, hanging out here in the Alaska Highway, Northern British Columbia. Phenomenal. Enjoy! Northern Rockies, same as down there, the Southern Rockies, well that is Southern Canadian Rockies, there's a lot of sediment that comes off the glacial flows, but fewer glaciers here, a lot more snow, but you can see behind me, same kind of idea. High up in the Northern Rockies, doing a little bit of a 4x4 trail here, pretty darn cool. There's a few of these, so if you've got four wheel drive, definitely worth a quick little look-see. Remember folks? This is the adventure. Oh, well, here we go. And it doesn't get us anywhere. <laughs> Between the northern Rocky Mountains here, we're down below in the valley bottom. And you've seen this before, it looks kind of familiar. Why? Because when we drove through the Rocky Mountains in southern Canada, between Jasper and Banff, down along the Columbia ice fields, you saw the same kind of the uh, glacial sediment. And this stream behind us can get really high in the spring with the runoff from the snow and the glaciers, of course, all year long feed it. Not quite as extreme in terms of uh, the Columbia ice fields, but pretty darn cool nonetheless. Anyways, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Time to move on. Talk to you soon. Getting uh, down the trail here, and it looks like I'm gonna have to cross a bit of a river, small river, small creek, whatever this is. Just a couple of feet deep. No big deal. Coming through Muncho Lake Provincial Park. Look at this cool old bridge. This is wild. And the thing is, the river down below is really flying along. This gets a little interesting. We're driving on this road, which is pretty much flooded, and driving right through what should be a couple of ponds, but there's so much water, it's lake. While we're driving uh, through the um, through the Northern Rockies, high up here, where the water <clears throat> coming off these glaciers and these ice fields is pristine, the air is unbelievable. I can't help but stop and think for a moment how important that is and remind everyone that without clean water and clean air most everything living on the planet will cease really really important to our not only our well-being but our long-term existence that we protect the water and the air Wow the Northern Rockies we are literally in the Northern Rockies. We are sitting uh, about 2,800 meters 
above sea level, high up here in the Alpine. On Highway 97, Moncho Lake, and look at this beautiful lake. This sucker is green, and it's green because it's glacial sediment mostly that fills this lake. Pretty darn cold. I dip my hand in there, and it is freezing. And of course, it's almost July, so you would expect it to be a little warmer. Here's the coolest thing. A little black bear hanging out on the side of the highway, middle of nowhere. He's having a good meal on, uh, he's eating on some sweet grass and some flowers, having a tasty little salad, kind of au naturel. Here's something you don't see every day. A black bear munching on grass, and about uh, 20 meters behind him, a whole bunch of bison. Go figure. Hey, remember I promised you guys an adventure, and this is what we deliver. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Toyota. See you, buddy. Have a good day. Wow, look how close I am to this female moose. Awesome! Say hi. That's it? That's all you got? Adventure Toyota standing here on the border between BC and the Northwest Territories. Well, how can we prove that? Over here, it's paved, but over there, it's all dirt. The trucks, especially 4x4s, the big 4x4 trucks and bigger, they love to fly along here, mock speed, and they like to take up most of the roads. So I've seen a couple of close calls. Take your time, be aware, don't want anyone getting hurt. And maybe those guys could slow down a little and be a bit more respectful. On Highway 77, coming south by southwest towards Fort Nelson, the Alaska Highway, and it is looking pretty nice out here. Paved road, really nice paved road. Behind me is a really cool old one-way bridge. That's the Nelson River below us. It's a pretty fast-moving river, and you can see all kinds of debris that have jammed up in there, mostly logs, and uh, that jammed up in behind the, uh, the, the pillars and out in the middle of the river. Pretty darn cool. It is awesome to be out here in Canada on an amazing adventure and all of you should be getting out into your Toyotas and traveling Canada on an amazing adventure. I never promise perfect weather or even five-star accommodations but I do guarantee an amazing adventure because that's what the show is all about. Adventure Toyota. Till I see you again, I am Toyota. Are you?